And the fans celebrated there at the juice box to cheer on the Strohs as they make another World Series run. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle was right there for all the fun. You know, Minnesota said a couple of days ago they wanted Houston, and that's exactly who they got tonight. Wasn't the best win, but the fans celebrated nonetheless. 43,000 of them in attendance for game one at Minute Maid Park, all looking forward to seeing the Astros play once again tomorrow. Here's some of what they had to say after tonight's game. Let's go! Let's go! We're going to take it again. Y'all see the banner? We're going to have another one. Look at this right here. Woo! Verlander did his thing. He came back. He knows. Houston, number one. Come on over, buddy. What'd you think of game one, man? Um, I bet Astros are going to win this game because they're a good team. You're a good team? They won the World Series. Absolutely. Altuve killed it. Altuve killed it at the beginning. Good game so far. Love the, uh, love the action out of the offense. Thought Verlander pitched a good game. I think we could have held him in there one more inning. It was a little nerve-wracking. We had some Twins fans behind us, and I turned around and said, well, at least something good happened for you during the game. What did you think about those four runs, man? That was, that was look, a, a, sh a shock to the system. Look, home runs are going to happen. You can't, you can't really prevent those, but I think if Verlander's in there, that, that seventh inning, he might have been able to prevent that, but I think, uh, I think it was a good start. We were hearing them chanting, we want Houston at the end of... Uh... Well, they got Houston today. Tomorrow, we'll win. We're going to do it. All right, cool. See you. Hopefully, we will run into him, that particular guy, tomorrow here at Minute Maid Park. First pitch at 7.03. Fox 26 will be here to give you the coverage before and after the game and online on Fox26Houston.com. Reporting from Minute Maid, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.